reason I wanted to have tonight's session here and, and to have it at this time was that the, the bill that passed in Missouri that would have required a photo ID to vote is being heard in the Missouri Supreme Court tomorrow. Uh, it was thrown out by a judge in Cole County who, who, who said in his decision that requiring a photo ID imposed too great a burden on the elderly and the poor. Uh, but the people who supported that bill immediately appealed his decision. And as I mentioned, tomorrow morning this bill will be heard in the Missouri Supreme Court. And I know there's been a lot of discussion about photo IDs, right? And whether you have to have an ID, what kind of ID you have to have. Well, let me just tell you, as, as Rachel said, there's been, there's been a lot of talk and confusion about this issue, but you know, in Missouri, you've always had to identify yourself when you go to vote. Yeah. You know, you always had to take something with you. But what, they're ta what they've been talking about in the legislature this year is making it just a very limited number of things you can take. Well, as you know, Judge Callahan, a couple of weeks ago, um, made a decision that the photo ID law was unconstitutional. And I agreed with that decision and think it did place an undue burden on certain parts of our population and people who don't happen to have driver's licenses. You know, for a lot of people it's not a big burden, but for others it is a problem to get all the documents required uh, to get one of these IDs. Of course it's common sense that we have an ID requirement and you have to show who you are in order to vote. Uh, and we'll continue to do that in Missouri. I feel confident that the Supreme Court will do the right thing in this and we'll all learn about it soon enough.